that wave oh is a good 15-20 feet tall. Easy. We live in an unpredictable world where disaster can strike at any time. Catastrophes can be natural, like the South Asia tsunami that left over 300,000 people dead in 2004. Or they can be man-made, like the 2006 war between Israel and Hezbollah fighters, which caused huge suffering and damage, particularly in Lebanon. But whatever the cause, getting help to victims is always a race against time. The aid and assistance that arrives in a disaster zone in the first hours and days is vital. It can make the difference between a catastrophe being brought under control or degenerating into a major humanitarian crisis. All European countries have a long history of dealing with disasters both at home and abroad. They've all drawn up what the experts call national civil protection plans that set out what to do if the unthinkable happens and include regular training exercises and simulations. These Danish civil protection volunteers are learning advanced first aid techniques, for example. But in 2001, Europe's approach to civil protection entered a new era when EU governments agreed to set up a system that would allow them to pool their resources. The decision created one of the most comprehensive and advanced disaster relief mechanisms anywhere in the world. An essential part of this mechanism is preparation. Today, disaster relief experts from across the European Union regularly train together so that they can efficiently work hand in hand when tackling catastrophes. Here, for example, experts from Austria, Spain, France, Italy, Greece and Sweden are taking part in an exercise designed to help them deal with a suspected biological weapons attack. At the heart of the EU's new coordinated civil protection system is this rather small room in a European Commission office building in Brussels. It's called the Monitoring and Information Centre, or MIC for short, and it plays a vital role in helping the EU to help disaster victims. The MIC is where emergencies are managed. From here, we send requests for help to member states. We gather requests from countries asking for help, and we try to match them with offers of assistance. We work together for the common objective, which is to offer help where it is needed. Since its creation, the MIC, which is staffed 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, has coordinated the EU's response to many major civil protection operations. Aside from the tsunami, it was involved with aid to victims of Hurricane Katrina, which ripped through much of the southern United States in 2005. It also helped manage EU civil protection assistance to victims of the Lebanon War and has been involved in relief operations following major earthquakes that shook Morocco, Iran and Algeria. Closer to home, the monitoring center helped coordinate efforts to combat the pollution caused by the wreck of the Prestige oil tanker in 2002. It was involved recently in the fight against forest fires in France, Portugal and Spain. It's also played a key role in disaster relief work following the floods that have affected many regions of Europe in recent years. Peter Korsklesen is a Danish civil protection expert. He's been sent to disaster zones all over the world, and most of his operations have begun at this training facility near the city of Bilund. The center boasts a warehouse full of specially packed equipment, everything from field toilets to tents to generators to satellite telephone links, all of it ready to fly anywhere at a moment's notice alongside Mr. Korsklesen or his colleagues. His career began before 2001, and he now often works as an EU coordinator on disaster relief operations around the world. So he's well placed to see how the new system has changed the way Europe responds to disasters. Before the system was put in place, we tended to have bilateral assistance from individual EU countries to states that ask for help. Now we're coordinating the way we work much more. We're trying to pull together our efforts so that there's one single aid provider instead of a lot of small individual countries. 
der, der støtter den enkelte øh, ressource. Altså en a coordinating body, øh, som gør det mere effektivt. The EU civil protection strategy is constantly under review, with both EU governments and the union's institutions keen to find new ways to make it work even more efficiently. Of course, the system will never stop disasters happening, but when they do, Europe can now ensure that the right equipment and expertise reaches those who need it as fast as possible.